Hey, uh, so have you ever been playing Pizza Tower and wanted it to go from looking like this, to this, or heck, maybe even this? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you're wondering, no, I'm not going to be teaching you how to use Pizza Oven, which is a program for downloading Pizza Tower mods, because for me personally, it just doesn't work. Now, is that because I'm stupid and messed it up while setting it up? Probably, yeah. But if you do want to install Pizza Oven, there's plenty of tutorials out there, so you can go watch one of those if that's what you're looking for. But anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so what you first need to do is download a program called Delta Petcher. It's on the website on screen, which I'll leave a link to in the description. So once you're here, scroll down and click Download File Now. Now it may download it instantly, like it just did, or it'll, or it will like take you to some human verification thing. But once you complete that, it should also just download it instantly. Okay, so once you go through like the process of installing it and everything, it should look like this. It should be like on your desktop. But if it's not, just simply go to the bar down here and search Delta. Delta Patcher, and that should be it. Okay, so the next step is actually downloading the mod. So what you want to do is go to this website, Game Banana. It has a bunch of mods for a bunch of different games. But right now, we're just focused on Pizza Tower. Now, it may just, like, appear down here or up here randomly. But if it doesn't, you could just search it in the bar. Now, once you're here, you can just pick any mod to download. For me, personally, I'm gonna... I'm picking the best mod there is. It's basically, like, once you click on the mod, you're on the mod page. Scroll down. Now there should be a little spot for you to download it, and all you need to do is just click download. Then what you want to do is uh, extract all the stuff from the mod's zip folder and just drag it out. You could put it into a folder of its own if it has like multiple stuff, or just drag it to the desktop. Now for the next step is actually putting the mod in Pizza Tower. So what you want to do is press the Windows key, plus R, and then copy and paste this whole long mess. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it in the description so you can just copy and paste it from there. Or another way to do it is on Steam, go to here, manage, and browse local files. And then boom, this same thing should pop up. So what you want to do is drag out this data file. For you, it should look like any like other of these files like a page for me it just looks like a blue heart because I have like a certain program it installed so what you want to do is just drag it out open Delta patcher then take the data file drag it here then take the mod file and drag it right here then just click apply patch and you're done now you may see like the data file disappear and wonder, oh no, where to go? But uh, it just moves to the closest open spot on your desktop if you're wondering where it went. Next, you just gotta drag the data file into the Pizza Tower folder, and there you go. You've modded the game. Now, once you're done playing with the mod and you want your Pizza Tower set back to normal, all you gotta do is just go over to Steam, click on this little gear icon, Properties, Installed Files. And verify integrated files and this will set everything back to normal but don't worry it won't reset like any of your save files or anything and it will also keep any like mod data saved so like let's say you play the lab 3 you, you uninstall the mod but you add it back it'll still have that progress saved now me personally i have a folder where i like to keep all the mods i've played so if i ever want to play them again i can just add them back in but one thing to keep in mind is like you see how i've renamed them you can't have them named that when you put them back in the game file. That it has to just be named data, or else it won't work. Hey, you. Yes, you. Want me to make a video on something? Well, then ask me on Discord. In fact, the only reason I made this video is because someone on Discord asked me. And also, because a lot of people in my YouTube comments kept asking me. Well, anyways, hope this video helps. See ya.